Ladies and gentlemen, and navigators of all ages, welcome to another installment of the Markman M2 video series. In this video, we'll be discussing automotive air conditioning diagnostics and a somewhat problematic scenario I came across recently. Here in the southwestern United States, more specifically southern Arizona, a new trend is emerging where people are baking cookies on their dashboard. During the afternoon on a typical mid-summer day, dashboard temperatures can reach well above 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Above 74 degrees Celsius or 347 Kelvin, we will be troubleshooting a somewhat typical air conditioning system in a 2012 Lincoln Navigator with a 5.4 liter V8 engine. We are using ProScan diagnostic software and we are running it on a standard Dell laptop PC. We have three data points, two manual gauges, one low side, one high side, and then we have our diagnostics connected to the data output port. Right from our first measurements, we see something very strange. We have 133 PSI on our analytics, and we have 90 PSI on our low gauge, and 90 PSI on our high gauge. Now we will start to accelerate our compressor and see something even more odd. Our low pressure gauge starts to drop off quite a bit and yet our high pressure gauge starts to drop off. The analyzer which gets its signal from the AC pressure switch is showing a whopping 427 PSI. Or your high and low manual readings come from the Schrader valve locations in the engine compartment, one on the high side, one on the low side. The manual gauges were triple checked and proved to be accurate all the connections and then running a system test I was fully convinced that we were getting true and accurate data at all three data points but yet how could this be for a few minutes I was absolutely thrown into the twilight zone if all three data points were correct how could there be such a large discrepancy And the old man is just as happy as he can be, he says, Get back to work! Yes, yes! In conclusion, there are three takeaway items for you to please consider. Number one, be aware of the exact point where you are acquiring a reading and how that point relates to the overall system. Number two, focus on working the problem. Do not guess or speculate on additional potential problems. Don't give you some bad news, I tell you! 
Number three, when replacing the small add-on peripheral items, be sure you are using the correct material and grade of material. Never use an air pressure tire Schrader valve for an air conditioning application. You'll see that all too many times. Also, use the medium or higher grade Schrader. Thank you so very much for tuning in. For those of you that are new to automotive air conditioning, here are some valuable slides. Your high side should be about 200 PSI and your low side should be about 40 PSI.